Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Do you have charcoal in your emergency cooking supplies? Well, you should, even if you don't have a uh, charcoal barbecue. And I'm going to show you how you can do some emergency cooking as long as you have some charcoal. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you don't buy cheap stuff. Get some good stuff because it's actually going to burn and you don't need to buy lighter fluid. You don't want to put chemicals in any of your food anyway. So what you want to do first is take a can and you want to cut out both ends of the can. It doesn't matter how what size it is. This one was from peaches. Some people say you have to have number 10, but I rarely have those, and I have lots of these, so I use what I have. Then you take like a church key, I like this one, and you punch holes all around the bottom. very simple. Then, I don't have a barbecue, I'm going to use my shovel. You never want to light it on your cement because it can crack it. So I'm going to take a couple pieces of newspaper and stick them in the bottom. That's probably enough. And I always keep newspaper with my emergency charcoal. And you take a couple of briquettes and each one can make 40 degrees is how you're supposed to determine how much cooking you need to do. Then I'm going to take my clicker and I'm going to light the newspaper. And the shovel is curved so it's letting a little air in underneath and it's allowing it to all set on fire. And then the holes and the curve of the shovel allow the air to continue to flow. Okay. Now they take about 20 minutes for them to all get warm, but you can see they're getting on fire. And always make sure you have water whenever you're using fire. Then I'm going to let it all cook or get all nice and um, lit and then I'm going to just remove the can and I can stick this little pot right into the charcoal on the shovel or I can use a bigger one if I need to. I just keep a few old pans around so that if I need to cook in an emergency I can. Keep some charcoal, store it in an airtight container. I've got it in a Rubbermaid plastic thing but I could also put it in, you know, those big Christmas things that you get with popcorn. You could put it in a couple of those. Keep this in your emergency supplies. It's going to be very handy for emergency cooking. I removed the little homemade charcoal lighting ring. And I put my little pot right down on the hot coals. And you can see I managed to cook up four little meatballs. And I stuck a pan of water in there also, or a can of water in the pan, and I've got it heated up so I can have some little meatballs and some tea. Doesn't that look good? So, get some charcoal for your emergency kit. Be sure you store some airtight container, like a metal container with some matches and some newspaper, and make one of those little charcoal lighting rings. Ready to have my snack, so I hope you'll uh, Try cooking with some charcoal for emergencies at your house, and I hope you'll subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Have a wonderful day.